which leads me straight into a song about the British Navy, uh, which is obvious, I think, to those of you who study songwriting. <laughs> there was um, an admiral uh, called Jackie Fisher, Sir John Fisher, who um, is famous for bringing into action, the creating, basically, the dreadnought. And the dreadnought it was a quite a big, heavily armored ship immediately prior to World War I. Um, and it fought in the Battle of Jutland. There were no dreadnoughts sunk. They were these sort of enormous, sort of giant floating bathtubs with huge guns. And the reason that Fisher brought them in, as far as I know, and I, can, I stand corrected by any historians in the audience, was that um, around about 1893, the British Navy had a gunnery range of, I think, about 3,000 yards. And the Germans had torpedoes that would go 4,000 yards, and it doesn't take a genius to um, realize the consequences of this should there have been a naval engagement. So Fisher bought, he commissioned and uh, brought into service the Dreadnought, which had a range of 18 miles, and uh <laughs> in addition to which was sort of pretty much unsinkable. And um, th that was his great contribution towards World War I. He was sacked after the Dardanelles campaign because they thought it was his fault, and Churchill, being very sneaky, let him take the blame, and Churchill continued on. And uh, Fisher has been uh, not entirely forgotten by history, but uh, he's sort of receded somewhat, although he, he had five marvelous rules for engagement in any war, of which the only one that matters is rule number three, which simply went sink everything. <laughs> Uh, and he seemed worth a song. So th this one's largely sort of based on the life of uh, Admiral Lord Fisher. It's interesting, isn't it? Why would I write a song about Fisher? You know? <laughs> like this is going to get played on the radio, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it is a request for someone over there. I can well recall the first time I have a book to see On the old Calcutta In 1853 Just a lad of 15 years A midshipman to be To make my way In sailing ships Of the Royal Navy By the time that I was Twenty-one, I'd sail this world around Weathered storms in the China seas With the hatches battened down Made my way by starlight Off the coast of Newfoundland Dined on beer and herrings while The waves blew all around I live in retirement through my window comes the sound of seagulls Sets my mind remembering Evening stars like memories sail far beyond The distant trees out across the open seas I hear them sing The wooden sails that turn to sky and the iron ships to steel Shed their sails like autumn leaves with the turning of the wheel. I was given captain's rank, soon to come to me. The proudest ship to ever sail for Queen and Country. Your queen, she passed away with the newborn century. I received my calling up to the Admiralty. Sounds ran through the hourglass each day more rapidly as we watched the growing of the fleets of high Germany. So at last, the great war blaze I waited with the passing days A call to arms that never came Light 
touching letters I may be old now in your eyes But all these years have made me wise You don't see where the danger lies Or call me back Call me back The war had run its course That found no use for me I live in the country now Grandchildren on my knee Sometimes thinking of this world The saddest thing to be Old admirals who feel the wind Never put to sea Just like you, I've sailed my dreams like ships across the sea. Some of them, they came on rocks and some faced mutiny. When the sun come one by one, I'll join that company. All admirals feel the wind, never put to sea.